I want to make sure everybody, it's a tough issue to know where the, what activity that you do puts you at risk. And some of them, obviously, we can't change very well. And right now, we don't know what to do about your house. Um, but I would remind you that Japan has an incidence of Mac lung disease in their women that's probably not much different than ours, and they don't shower. They only bathe. And their most common source in which they can have get positive cultures was the inlet into the bed. So it just says that, and their eyes are basically all in the
pseudomonas or staph that may be recovered. Uh, if there's mycobacteria there, they're not being cleared effectively either, and they'll be easier to appear on the sputum specimen. One more thing, do the nodules ever get cleared up? Do they ever go away? Yeah, they will. They uh, with, with CAT scans and some of the patients that we've treated, and, and, I, and I think some sometimes they go away. Uh, a lot of times, they usually, some of them will usually shrink in size. Sometimes they stay exactly the same. Uh, once in a while, they even seem to wax and wane. Perhaps it's a couple different things going on. But the, but it usually doesn't. The CAT scan usually doesn't return to normal. Usually, sometimes it will. Why were you unable to get the amicacin? Uh, well, it's, it should be available now. The usual answer is the insurance company is not thrilled about the idea, but there, and actually, Philip or Ken can tell me better. There is a, um, the, go ahead and tell them how they can do it if there is a shortage. Um, well, I think the basic answer to your question is um, no. Um, so there are differences between that class of drug called aminoglycosides uh, in terms of their activity against many of the mycobacteria. Um, and um, the substitution of tobramycin for amicacin may not have the same effectiveness against whichever mycobacteria you're growing out. Um, the FDA maintains a drug shortage website. Um, if you Google FDA drug shortage, it'll come up there. And it le lists each specific drug that's in short supply and um, who to contact and what to do about it. There are two companies in the U.S. that make amicacin, uh, Teva and Bedford Pharmaceuticals. Uh, and both of them have had manufacturing and production problems. Um, and recently that site was last updated on the 6th of May. Uh, and they're both, again, having um, manufacturing problems. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't get the drug. Uh, what it usually means is that your um, doctor would need to contact one of those pharmacies um, with a specific request for an amount of drug that gets sent specifically um, for that purpose. Um, so it, there's a difference in the amount of drug it takes to supply a retail pharmacy, for example, which is a lot of drug. Uh, versus the amount the company would need to supply for specific requests. But all of those instructions are maintained on that FDA website. I think one of the concerns uh, for the companies is that they'll go to suppliers who will stop them. So then they can provide them whenever they're needed uh, by the various pharmacies that they service. They don't have enough drug to do that. But we usually have the pharmacist call and say, this is for an MDM patient who has whatever it is, and usually don't have any difficulty. I mean, they're very sensitive to that particular request, um, so they know it's going directly to the patient and not being bypassed and stored in some place. Thank you. Uh, just to add on that, we're going to wrap up. I know people are very tired and running quite late. We actually have an agreement with the FDA and that they will monitor the drug, and they have an agreement with the manufacturers to have a reserve supply for pulmonary NTM. But your doctor needs to place the order saying that it's for pulmonary NTM. What's happening is the drug companies do not want to release all available supplies to the wholesalers. And even the major pharmacies are all getting their drugs from wholesalers. If it goes that route, it won't be available. The prices will go up. But the FDA did take really positive action. So we have not heard in the last year, at least, that someone couldn't get it if it was ordered correctly. Uh, thank you.